So today I've got this Sanyo TV. It's got half a picture that's distorted. I'm just going to show you a little trick I came up with to maybe not permanently remedy this situation, but temporarily repair this, get it moving along a little bit better. Uh, anyhow, this is a 42 inch Sanyo. I've already got the, uh, I've taken the screws off to remove the, the cover around it, as well as I've taken the screws off of the metal frame around the panel. These sets come apart incredibly easy, so they're really uh, nice to work with. All right, so with the uh, cover off, like I said, we can re we can remove the the trim from the front of the TV. I've already taken all the screws out around the LCD panel, so the metal frame can be just simply lifted up and taken off very carefully. And then um, I'll show you up close what I uh, what I found here. All right, so I've got the set. Um, we're looking at the top left-hand corner of the screen right now. You can see the uh, the tab that's bonded to the glass. I don't know if you can see the small little uh, IC that's actually bonded to the ribbon cable, but if I press down lightly on that, uh, the picture actually straightens out very nicely. Picture's good when I'm pressing on it. Picture's bad when I release it. So, um... I come up with a kind of a, it's a really cheap solution. I actually got the parts from a uh, used tire store to repair this TV. And here's the parts. Um, this is actually pieces of an old inner tube that I've cut. In, I've cut uh, so they're just about the size of that little tab in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this circuit board right here. I'm going to take the whole circuit board, take the screws out of it. There's three screws here. So I'm going to remove all three of these screws. I'm going to flip the circuit board over. So what we want to do is uh, disconnect the uh, power from the TV, obviously. So let me pull the plug on it real quick. I'm just going to open this connector and move the cable from the T-Con so it's physically disconnected. I'll take out those three screws. Alright, so I've got a piece of scotch tape at the ready here. I'm going to flip this back very carefully and I'm just going to put a piece of tape on that board to keep it flipped up and then I'm just going to take a piece of this rubber and I'm going to put it under each one of these just to add a little shim to this. just that simple. Now you want to be very careful not to put too much pressure on this board whatsoever. Now when I press down on it there's very little room so what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to put another piece across the top of it that that big metal frame is actually going to put pressure on it when I put it back together and we'll see how that goes. So I want to show you the inside of the LCD uh, panel. It has these little dimples and they are actually uh, to put pressure on those little uh, IC chips on those ribbon cables. So, um, and they come up to about the same level as where the screw is within about a millimeter. So like I said, when we put these little pieces on top right here, you can see where the screw level is. It's actually gonna sandwich these things in here and um, I'm going to use a piece of, I'm just going to put a piece of scotch tape over each one to hold that down. So let me do that and we'll see what happens. And so there's all the tabs with the little rubber shims added to them now. I've as well done the other side. So both sides are taken care of, so we shouldn't have any problems. Although primarily on these sets, it always seems to be the very end two tabs, this end and this end that we have problems with. And I never seem to have problems in the middle, but I always do them to be safe. 
So now I'll put the frame back on it and we'll see what happens. So I've got the, the frame back together on it now and um, before when I tapped up in this corner we could get some lines in the picture. Now I don't see anything at all. So uh, like I said, I've uh, added shims on the top and the bottom, those little rubber spacers, which is just a piece of uh, cut up inner tube from an old tire. And um, I've had pretty good success on these Sanyos. And I've had a lot of Sanyos with these screens fail too. Um, I'd say in the past year, I probably had 15 or 20 different Sanyos uh, with the same exact failure. And um, um, I've done a lot of these. They seem to hold quite well. Um, I'm sure it's going to fail again. It's just a kind of a short-term solution. I mean, the only way to, to truly repair it is to have that tab replaced on the LCD panel, but that's not practical anymore. And the cost of replacement on an LCD panel is beyond the cost of the TV, so not practical once again. So let me put this all back together and we'll stand it up and see how it goes. So I got the TV all back together. It seems to be working just fine now. No distortion on that side of the picture. And um, just wanted to show you the the model on this one. It happens to be a uh, DP46819. Um, other than that, these Sanyo TVs, they appear to be quite reliable sets. We hardly have any other problems. Occasionally uh, a main board will fail, but um, that seems to be about it. We'll just have to run this one and see what happens. Hopefully this will save a couple more TVs from the landfill, or as the case may be this day, the recycler. Once again, thanks for watching.